Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia Blind. My name is Lacer Nexus, and in the last episode we met Mila Maxwell and learned a few interesting things about her. And in today's episode we're starting off with a battle, because why, why the crap not? Wrong button. Wait. My ha sword rings true. I already forgot how to play this game. Quick steps, I already know that. I already forgot how to play this game. By the way, can I switch? Uh. Yeah, set leader. Alright, I'm gonna try playing as Mila for a little while, uh, just to get a feel for her. If we must. Next. Whoops. My sword rings true. Well. Okay then. What level is she anyway? <sighs> wow. Um. I'm gonna check her arts real quick. The free self Dean gnome. Well then. Alright then. I totally meant to press the X button, but I forgot what button did what. Anyway, I'm gonna try that again. Attack! Alright, over already? Huh. I think I'm going to stick with uh Jude for now. And let's continue on with what we were supposed to do. Which is... Attack. What are we doing? Follow Mila. I don't know what exactly that means, but whatever. Also, we don't gain very much experience at all for fighting people. What was that? <laughs> Oh, my. Okay, Mila, just beat the crap out of everything. Press left stick to have a character perform his or her characteristic taunts. Oh. That's nice. I always wanted to live up to Professor House's expectations, but now he's dead. Hmm. What? What are you doing? I'm cuddling you. Uh, why? I read it in a book. When humans are upset, they feel better when you cuddle them. What book was that? A mother's eyes, a mother's touch. That sounds like a book about child rearing. I'm not a baby. This technique has no effect on you? Humans are so complicated. <laughs> well, I guess I do feel a little better. Thank you. Hmm? So it does work. That is adorable! Huh? That is so adorable! Why are they just standing there? I almost just don't want to talk through battles because I just feel like there's nothing to talk about when I'm fighting. Plus, it's a lot more complicated to actually talk during a fight. Plus, they don't really last long enough to get a decent thought out. Wait, doesn't this lead deeper inside? We're not heading to the exit? No. There's something seriously wrong here. Shouldn't we get out? I'm aware of the danger, but there's something I must find. I'm afraid I can't escort you out before then. Sure. After all, I was the one who asked to go with you. <laughs> What's so funny? It's nothing. When my business here is done, I promise to see you safely out of here. There's no need to worry. Thanks. You know, for like being the ma being like the grandiose spirit, like god of all things, she's pretty down to earth and actually kind of compassionate. Interesting. I like her. Wait. 
This is this is why it just was, wasn't it? This is why it just was. And like that girl is gone. There's also an item over here. There's also a ladder that leads up there. I don't know if there's anything up here worth checking out, but you know what? It's minus. It's worth checking out. I was gonna say I might as well do it, but then I started saying uh, it's worth checking out. Oh, she just jumps down. That makes my life a whole lot less complicated. Alright. What about through here? Oh, I guess they're not all the same room. Out of our way. But yeah, I'm guessing Mila is just gonna be like uh far too easy. I'm guessing she's just going to turn out like uh, Jade, where she loses all of her power at some point. Because she has over, she has almost 2,000 HP at level two. That's kind of overpowered, and I'm expecting this to happen very soon, like probably while we're still in this area. Oh, there was something over here. I'm guessing all those little glowing parts are just going to be material. I'm I'm guessing all those things that we get from those. Like I'm guessing those are all like synthesizing items. Oh. That was dumb of me, but whatever. Eventually I will start cutting these out, but for now it really doesn't matter. They go by fast enough. So I never checked to see if I had a new art. No, I totally do have another art. I completely forgot about that one. Soaring Vortex. What does that do? The likes of you will not stop me. Well, I totally botched that one. Um, let me figure out what that art, how that art works. Oh. All right. Well, uh, I will try that one out later. Well, I ran out of TP as I was trying to do that, so, uh, that didn't help at all. Um, where's my items? That'll do. I keep pressing the square button, expecting that to be the attack button. I've been playing a lot of Akami HD, so, uh... What is that? A Spyrex weapon. I knew it. The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. So this is what humans call irony. Naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? It's... it's worth it! It's... 
feasting directly on her mana lobes. This wasn't part of the plan. But it's nothing I can't deal with. Are you gonna try and stop it? Do you know what you're doing? That's it. Mila! Look down! Huh? Stop! Or you'll be dragged in with it! Spirits? Wait. Take Mila and then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do? You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you gonna do now? There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Wait! I really should disable uh, those notifications, but I have no idea how to. Anyway, um... Huh... What do you gotta do? After Mila. Mila! How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? What? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the Four's power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. Come quietly, or else. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, this is fun. Focus. That's the wrong button entirely. All right. There. All right. I need to learn the buttons. Also, I will be right back. No, I won't be, because I can't do that without quitting the game, so, uh... <sighs> What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen, you'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven... You don't know where it is, do you? This way. Well... I'm sorry to have put you in this situation. It's okay. 
Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. All right, well, the Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. Jude, shut up. All right. I'm going to save real quick. And this probably also going to be the end of the episode, but real quick I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disable online notifications, but I'm going to leave trophy notifications on because why not? Anyway, thank you all for watching. My name is Lacer Nexus, and until next time, everybody, where we will take Mila to the Sea Haven, and then do whatever else. So until next time.